Hello class of 2020, families and staff. I hope everybody's safe and well. My name is Rua Alwaz and I'm a student in the biotechnology career area at Minuteman High School. Now coming to Minuteman High School was a difficult decision for me to make. Not only because I was afraid of the unknown, but because I was afraid that I would not find a major to fit in. Thankfully, my best friend Emily Almonte was there by my side every step of the way as well as my hardworking and inspiring parents and my mentor and unofficial therapist, Mrs. Tag. It's amazing how much you can achieve when you have the right people there to support you. Starting with Mr. Donovan in ninth grade, helping me realize that even though English was my second language, I could still achieve greatness. My father came to America with nothing but $300 in his pockets and the stars to reach for. He managed to build a home and a family for me and my siblings with his hard work and determination. As Tommy Lasorda once said, the difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. I always knew that I would have to work hard to achieve anything worthwhile. And thanks to my father's example and my mother's patience, I have been able to stay strong alongside them. I also have to give a shout out to Mrs. Tag for being an OG and always willing to hear me out and consider and acknowledge my thoughts and needs as a person before offering me advice as a student. One hard lesson that I have had to learn over the past four years is that there's more to life than constant dedication to schoolwork. I'm sure we have all felt overwhelmed by our workloads and felt extremely stressed out at one point. But I found that when I didn't take it too harshly, it allowed me to achieve a sort of peacefulness. Speaking of heavy workload, as I stated before, I am a student in the biotechnology major and I have grown to fall in love with it. I really value the power of science and biotechnology was the perfect way for me to challenge myself in ways I never imagined. I grew up knowing that I wanted to help people. And my technical career has allowed me to visualize the various ways that my field can help advance the human race. Now enough about me, because I want to share with you a very important message. One that I think we all need to hear. I truly believe everything happens for a reason, including this pandemic. This may be difficult or even impossible for some of us to see right now. But there truly is good that has come out of this microscopic disease. Sometimes we lose sight of the important things in life, such as our families and the environment, and most importantly, our essence, our humanity. This pandemic has forced us to think creatively, to spend more time with ourselves and our families, to rethink our values, and to reassess what we have done and where we want to go. This emergency is proof that we as a human race need to put our differences aside and come together to nurture our beautiful earth and bring some peace and happiness to people's lives. As hard as it is to do, this starts with every single one of us changing our thinking, changing our mindsets, telling ourselves every day that we are thankful for what we have instead of constantly being miserable over what we don't. Because at the end of the day, if you work hard and stay determined, you will achieve what you deserve. Hopefully, we can let that sink in because we are definitely going to need it for the next part of our life. Personally, I am going to UMass Boston to continue my education in the science field and hope to one day make a significant change in people's lives. I know that we are all going our own way in the next part of our journey, whether it's to college, to work to the army or to a trade school. But wherever you go, I urge you never to forget what is truly important in life and never to lose sight of who you are. This pandemic has taught us at least that. Finally, every single one of us should be proud of what we have achieved, no matter how little or big it is. Every step matters as long as you keep moving forward. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so relieved to say we made it.